What's up, my single chats and toxic gamers? How my brothers and sisters are doing today, man? Because Activision just got sued once again, man. <laughs> they keep on getting sued. And I do agree with you that America is one of those countries where, you know, people get sued for literally farting in the wrong direction. Bruh. But we absolutely love it. We love it when Activision gets sued. Like the video if you agree. And you're not going to believe this. We got a movie up ahead. We're going to check out the plot. We're going to check out the climax. We're going to be investigating the goods, okay? But $680 million is what they are demanding, though. Oh, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, yo, can a brother get, like, two pennies or something? Come on, man. Y'all asking for 680 80 million? I mean, damn. But roll this, check this out. Uh, paraphrase this via Charlie Intel on Twitter. I think this is in order. Forgive me if it's not, okay. but here's what the lawsuit essentially says. Just kind of, you know, taken Damn, down. Damn, man, like, why are you asking for people forgiveness, bro? Didn't you know? Didn't you know that you are considered to be America's number one most toxic gamer? That there is? Come on, man. Stop asking for people forgiveness, bro. That doesn't suit you, bro. Onto a more digestible Yay. level. Breaking. Hector Hex Rodriguez and Scump of Optic. Is that his, like, passport name? <laughs> Scump of Optic? Um, Mr. Optic, Mr. Optic over here, middle, middle name of, along with other CDO owner groups have filed a lawsuit against Activision for its monopoly over the Call of Duty League. The lawsuit filed by CDL team owners against Activision alleges that Activision bought MLG in 2016 to fully monopolize its esports. Man, you know Call of Duty is down bad when the CDL pro players are filing lawsuit. And if you don't remember, Scump is one of the CDL pro player that actually, you know, said something be bad, something mean, something upsetting about Call of Duty. I believe around like Modern Warfare 19 or Modern Warfare 2022, and he was uh, he was actually fined money. So Activision fined him for literally, yeah, like I, 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 you cannot even make this up. And now he's coming in full circle, and Scump is like, nah, bro, I'm gonna sue them. And listen, man, like I'm with you on this one. I am with these seconds out. Here, let's be real. Business and is claiming Activision failed to get FTC permission to acquire MLG. The lawsuit claims Hex suffered damages because Activision refused to let Hex own a spot in the CDL on his own without guaranteed investors. The suit says Hex initially sold Optic to Impotent for $20 million in 2017. He then reacquired the brand, but Activision said he needed investors to back Damn. his spot in the league, which is why they merged Optic into Envy. Oh my god. The lawsuit states that Activision signed the Call of Duty League's streaming rights deal with YouTube and Google because Google offered Activision price discount deals on Bum using Google. Y'all are a 70 billion dollars company. Why are you guys asking for discount though? Like, come on, man. You suckers should be paying people for playing your games because your games are literally torture right now. Okay, your game, playing your games is torture, man, with the skill-based mentoring. And listen, guys, I'm not trying to plant ideas in anybody's mind, but I'm trying to do that, okay? You, you feel what I'm saying? But listen, man, these CDL pro players are now filing lawsuits. All I'm saying here is that, guys, the public lobbies in Call of Duty, they also feel like CDL lobbies. You see what I'm saying? Bruh. I, I'm just saying, maybe we should all get behind this. Like the video if you're also getting behind this. I, I hope they, they get the monies, man. Google Cloud for services, so they're just being cheap assholes. This is a billion dollar company. <laughs> do you really need to yeah. do that? Do you need discounts? I know all about discounts. And now they're under Microsoft, so they're literally like trillionaires right now. You don't really need them when you're that rich. You know what I'm saying? But it gets worse. The lawsuit alleges that Activision forced Hex to merge Optic with Envy. It alleges that in 2021, once he acquired 100% of Optic brand, Activision refused to give him this LA CDL spot because they wanted more investors Bro. backing him. It claims Hex was forced to give 92.5% of Optic's ownership to Envy and is asking for 120 Damn. million in damages. Yo, I cannot even afford a bicycle out here and Sega be asking for 120 million in damages, bro. Like, come on, man. <laughs> now, I don't really follow CDL or the pro scene yeah, that same, much. Same, the last time same. I really cared about Call of Duty, as far as the you know, pro players went, was um, back in like, Black Ops 3. I'm not even being like facetious there. It's just, I, if, if, I don't think the game is good like competitively out of the box pretty much um i, I don't really uh follow the the pro league yeah, at all yeah, i mean yeah. there's just so same many basically like none of us follow it but we with the homie hex and me with the homie it's go go get them tiger go get them king content you can ingest in the day and i'm just a busy man so in general not really following the pro scene however i do know that uh, activision it. has been kind of just i don't know really really mishandling cdl and how things are going yeah. on charlie's personal twitter account he says lots of folks are excited about this the lawsuit 
but it'll make the end of Activision and Microsoft support yeah. of Call of Duty esports happen a lot sooner. And to be honest, I, I might be actually wrong with this one, but you know, just uh, just a few days ago, right? We apparently did hear that, you, you know, and this kind of like, I mean, it's kind of like a wild thing because Phil Spencer, you know, before acquiring Activision, he was fighting with FTC. He was saying that he, he we're gonna make a very healthy environment for the devs at Activision, acquires Activision, fires 1900 devs, you know? ends up firing all of them and then he also fired approximately 80 percent of the esport division i'm not sure if that's linked with this i, I think it is right because uh, you know it's uh, actuation and microsoft support i think it is but i'm not sure because they got like so many different departments it's like crazy they had approximately like i believe 100 or 80 employees and right now they have less than 20 employees because they've uh, like fired almost 80 percent of the entire workforce oh, I, I, we're, we're talking about microsoft guys they they're not hurting for money they're making more money than god right now these niggas need their ass beat up right now i swear to god in gta allegedly allegedly i think in cdl give teams a certain portion of money back and move on i agree with that last part i don't think this needs to go to court and be a big stink but yeah, like yeah. how many times like honest to god i'm just gonna ask you guys in the comment section right now how you don't even have to ask, bro. We agree. I mean, listen, I do. Uh, and listen, we all agree. America is one of those countries where sickers get <laughs> sued for literally farting in the wrong direction. Bruh. You know it, man. Come on, man. Like, that's not even cap no more. That's like literally like modern day America where people get like wrongfully sued. <laughs> people get sued for literally, man, farting. Like, come on, man. Like, what are we talking about here? But you know what? Nonetheless, we agree, okay? We are behind the homie Hex. We are behind the homie scum. Like the video if you agree, man. Times, can Activision Blizzard just be complete pieces of shit? Yeah, and yeah. No, like, nobody does anything about yeah, it. They, yeah, they are dipshits, man. No, like, come on. Well, bro. I agree this probably needs to happen. I am very happy to see this lawsuit calling out. According to the Call of Duty community, okay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm part of the community as well, so. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there we are. There, there we are, man. There we are. Man. They're scumbag practices. This is not the first time they've done something. Obviously, it's not the first time they've done something nefarious, but like, holy hell. Yeah. How does any of this go on this long? Honest Plot to God. Coming up, boys. It Plot seems like up. every few months, something else comes out that paints these people as the biggest villains in the gaming industry. And I don't but think they, that's an exaggeration at but, all. But think about it. Like, do they care? Absolutely not. They're making money. They're, the, the, the stocks are up, right? Investors are dropping money like it's nothing, right? Like, they, they are just like, hey, they, they're acting like they're going around passing Tic Tacs in public bathroom. Like, who are we kidding right now? The investors don't care. Like, the, the saddest... And also hilarious, but saddest in, in, in reality. The saddest thing here is that, like, uh, Phil Spencer, uh, Microsoft, they fired 1,900 employees from Activision, and you would have think that their stock would have went down, right? No, it goes up. It booms. <laughs> They made billions. They made billions more by firing more people. So it's like, dog, like that's uh the that's the world we live in, man. So it don't matter. And the fact that I can post something criticizing the company, or criticizing Call of Duty or whatever, and all these neckbeard virgin weirdos come out of the woodwork and say like, oh, it's just Steam. Oh, the game's doing great. Oh, I love buying my five hundred dollars of skins per month. My entire McDonald's paycheck goes to making me look like a fucking idiot in this video game. You know what I mean? Like, th that's essentially what they're doing constantly. Keep in mind, this is bad, but keep in mind here. I okay. need to reiterate this till the end of time. Oh, Someone damn. lost their life because of the toxic oh, yeah. work environment at yeah. Activision Blizzard. This is not just hyperbole. Uh, he's talking about one of the, uh, the California lawsuits. I believe that happened, uh, I believe around like 2016, 2018, and came to public fruition, I believe in 2021, 2022-ish, uh, right? And that's when, you know, Phil Spencer was like, okay, well, you know, the work environment at Activision is not good. I believe even PlayStation made, uh, our, uh, you know, remarks about it. Like a lot, of, you know, basically everybody was talking about it when that happened. Phil Spencer was like, yo, bro, like Activision, not a good place to work uh, it's sad guess what he ends up buying them oh my God. <laughs> he's like okay let me buy it real quick let me buy it real quick we're gonna make it a good environment he buys it fires people <laughs> and uh, it'd be what it'd be man and now there's another lawsuit like holy crap 680 million this is Jeez, not me man. exaggerating look that up google it right now it's all over the internet and like it was kind of a thing that just um was swept under the rug you know
But if you think this is just some kind of recent uh, thing. I mean, yeah, yes and no, right? A lot of people talked about it. It's, it wasn't really, they tried to, I do agree, they tried to sweep, in, uh, sweep it under the rug, but it's like, uh, the cat is out of the bag. Everybody knows it. Everybody talked about it. Uh, the more, I, I guess it's one of those uh, things, right? You know, the saying is the more you try to hide it, the more it gets revealed, something like that. So basically that's, that, that really applies here too. If you think like Activision being terrible is a recent thing, I'm going to take you back all the way back to 2009. I wanted to cover oh, this in a video, but I didn't want to make a whole entire video dedicated to it because it's just kind of one event that happened in the past. It may not be that interesting in a vacuum, but I think it needs to be kind of combined here, okay? This is an article from PC Gamer, and I'm going to kind of skim it, but this goes back all the way to 2000. Climax coming up, guys. Clench your butt cheeks, fasten your seat belt, uh, seat belts, because I heard the ride later, the ride, <laughs> it's going to get a little bit bumpy, man. The ride is going to be a little bit bumpy. Nine. When the OG MW2 came out, so a few months after it came out, essentially there was a big stink over lack of pay for some of the devs, and Activision canned uh, the, the studio heads, Wes and Zambella. And uh -huh. upon doing that, a lot of Infinity Ward employees left at a protest, and Modern Warfare 2 never got that patch that was supposed to fix one-man army noob tubes, among other things, because half the studio left. And then Modern Warfare 3 came out with the help of Sledgehammer added on, and um, it turned out to be essentially a patch for Modern Warfare 2 at the end yeah, of the day. And, yeah. and the more things change, the more they stay the same because that's what's happening in modern day yep, Call yep. of Duty. Uh, uh, modern Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Modern Warfare 3. If I say modern one more time, you, you know, I'll actually take a shot every time I say modern. Yo, so, honestly, though, the biggest uh, down, the biggest negative of Call of Duty right now is that, like, all the games are looking and feeling the same. There's, like, and, and I truly do believe that, yeah, skill based matching 100% is a problem. Problem. Cheaters 100% is a problem. Lack of content 100% is a problem. But the biggest thing out there is also that all the games since Modern Warfare 19 looks the same though. They're like, yeah, new engine, bro, new engine, bro. But it's like every game is looking the same. And whenever every game feels and looks the same, you kind of lose that uh, that that factor of uh, the game feeling fresh and new, right? Because the menus are like Netflix. It's like they hired like a like a Netflix employee, which which should be working. Who should be working at Netflix and not at Call of Duty? But they're like, yeah, bro, Netflix Netflix employee, come here, man, and let's even ruin it even more and they're like the menu's not good the game looking and feeling the same modern warfare 19 modern warfare 2022 modern warfare 3 all look and feel the same ish though come on now man have alcohol poisoning in about three minutes if i keep going here but anyway modern modern warfare is repeating the past of the previous modern warfare games it, it's yeah, all chronologically yeah, confusing yeah. but let's just get into the article here i'm going to skim it a little okay. bit but i'm going to cover a great deal of it and okay, i'll leave a link to this in the comment up. as well if you can read the whole thing Former Infinity War dev says Activision told staff to take the money and get over it after cold-blooded canning of studio heads West and Zampella. Oh, damn. In 2009, Infinity oh, War... Okay, so that's new information. That's just... Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Heads. Jason West and Vince Zampella were abruptly fired by the company's owner, Activision. West and Zampella had directed the original Call of Duty and brought the series to superstardom through Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Yeah. Their sacking just before the release of MW2 shocked the industry and arguably changed the course of both Call of Duty and FPS forever. Now a dev who worked at IW at the time has recalled the dramatic events of that, that day. day. Paul Sandler, who is currently lead designer at NetEase Games, wrote an article on LinkedIn detailing the day's events. Jason and Vince just got fired, the article starts, in the words of a lead artist who broke the news to Sandler while riding a scooter around Infinity Ward's office. I want to, I don't know, I know it's not Robert Bowling, but I would love if that was Robert Bowling, just riding a scooter around Infinity Ward's office, like, you know, saying like, I'm still a clown, the, the head's got fired or whatever, but anyway. And so their sight lines, they're running through and they're like, oh, it's just a clown, it's fine. But I have my gun posted up there at his hand, like just picking guys off. And I love that because it was a perfect moment of like, yeah, no clue I'm even here. I'm, I'm a stealth clown. I just sat there and stunned silent. It's like, it's crazy that they, yeah, they did fire Vince Zampella and Vince Zampella went over, if I'm not mistaken, made Titanfall. Uh, recently he made uh, Apex Legends and now he's working on the next Battlefield game as well. And I'm really curious about that. Now, Apex Legends, I'm not really into it, but it, it was very successful. I think it still is successful and there's like a very uh, deep and core fan base that loves it. I, I played it once, didn't like it. Oh, it's not for me, so I kind of peaced out, but it, it was a dang successful game. And sure, Call of Duty, the original Modern 
Modern Warfare and the original Modern Warfare 2 has been like amazing games, like phenomenal games. So this man, they really did lose a very, very crucial asset. Let's be real. Silence with my eyes wide open, Sandler recalls. I stood up from my chair and said, what the fuck, why? So let's just scroll down a little bit and cover some more here. According to Sandler, oh, Activision saw the rebellion brewing, was over pay, and attempted to stop it. At an emergency company meeting in the studio kitchen, Activision executives tried explaining what was happening, but nobody in the team bought or cared for this. With an explanation falling on deaf ears, Activision apparently tried a different tactic. Right. Sandler paraphrases what the executive said next. Guys, if you stay with the studio to make Modern Warfare 3, you will receive your MW2 bonuses, and we will also give everyone a 50% salary increase. Sandler writes that, if anything, most of the team was feeling even more upset, at which point the executive played hardball, saying, just take the money and get over it. Brilliant. Sandler says that, in the end, 40 of Infinity Ward's 100 employees, let me just stop right there, uh, 100 employees made one of the most influential Call of Duty games of all time. That's We do insane. not need 3,000 devs. In fact, the more devs we have, the worse. Holy crap. It's like, now they have 3,000 devs working at it, and they, they just don't even know how to make a game no more. And back in the days, 100 people made one of the world's biggest the baddest one of the greatest call of duty game of all time that just that thought alone is insane now i do agree those were different times and right now it's like different for example the textures have gotten better right they, they got ps5s and xbox series x so they gotta make the textures be 4k back in the days you could be like yeah whatever right 720p 1080p for pc yeah i get it but still the the core aspect and the quality the ingredients were good not the like the process nowadays like these things got process ingredients in call of duty though things seem to get because after black ops 2 which released uh two years after uh three years after excuse me modern warfare 2 here then uh you know that was pretty much the end of the good call of duty games like uh -huh. the, the really good golden age of call Wait of duty it. games but anyway I digress. In the wake of West and Zampella's firing, though other reports say the final total was 46. Of these, 38 joined the pair's Damn. new EA back studio yeah. Respawn Entertainment. And then they made like Titanfall. Okay, yeah, I was right with Titanfall and Apex Legend. Though. That is absolutely insanity though. But I'm with the homie Hex though. <laughs> I hope you get the monies and I hope y'all get two pennies as well. But guys, click on this video on the screen because this is absolute insanity. We had like... 10 streamers that got caught cheating under God's hot sun oh, shit. playing Call of Duty. You're gonna love it, you're also gonna hate it, and you're gonna regret it. But, but check it out. You Overall, it's good entertainment. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.